What's going on, boys and girls? We're out here in Roscoe Village, out here in Ohio, doing some exploring. We got some special guests, so stay tuned to find out who it is. Welcome to the beautiful little town of Roscoe Village, located in Coshocton, Ohio. Originally, this town was laid out in 1816, but it was named Collindersville after its original founder, James Collinder. But in 1830, two prominent citizens petitioned the state to rename a Roscoe Village after the author, William Roscoe. Roscoe Village earned the title of fourth largest wheat port on the Erie Canal. But in 1913, after the Great Flood, pretty much made way for the railroads and Roscoe Village was no more. Still, a wonderful little town to visit here in the state of Ohio if you're here. They have a lot of little businesses there that they still use, uh, nice little shops, decent little restaurant, and they have a great canal boat ride, which we'll get to a little bit later. They also have a working blacksmith, as you'll see here. She's doing her thing, looks great. She's got a lot of nice little things that she's making in there. <laughs> so, told you a special <laughs> guest we had on our channel today. Who is Hi. this? Who is these people back here? Not other than Big Daddy Bubbles, also known as RV Life in the USA. And we are here in Shockton, Ohio. And we are going to take a ride on the Erie Canal with a horse drone canal boat. So let's go around and see what we can find. We do it. All the haul, everything. I just from here from about here down all the way underneath. It's all stainless steel, about three-eighths inch thick. Uh, stainless steel. All of it was donated by, by AK Steel here in town. So, and this is pretty much the same as, as, as what you would see on the passenger packets. Um, 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 for the passenger package, obviously. Very stagnant down underneath here, very, very hot. That's why most of the passengers actually rode on top. So if you think back there, back in, in the third and fourth grade, we went through through all the canal era for the state of Ohio. Uh, um, and, and if you went through uh, uh, the Erie Canal song, uh, where it says, low bridge everybody down, that's the reason why. Let's go to everybody. But this canal system here, it took them exactly nine years to construct the whole thing. It was done. And, in smaller sections, and the state actually paid the crews 30 cents a day. They gave them room and board, plus they gave them uh, three to four jiggers or shots of whiskey to actually counteract all the various symptoms of, of, of all the various diseases. Mr. Cruz saw a lot of colic, they saw typhus, they saw a disease called canal fever. Uh, pretty much the same thing as the malaria thing. If you think about some of the sections that the crews were digging through, it was either very, very small, which could marry her number of boats actually passing back and forth and the same thing. It would have been nothing but dirt and mud. And, and, and I did mention before that, that the boats could easily pass back and forth. Yes, it was very easy for them to pass back and forth. It was harder for them to come up with the passenger train. Uh, the general rule was every northbound passenger packet or passenger boat had to ride away the passenger uh, the past first. So if that was the case, if a, a southbound freighter was coming, uh, the southbound freighter's hoagie would actually call back to the boat, boat to tell them that, that, that our boat was approaching. And, it, and that hoagie actually took the mules off to the opposite side of the piece of tow path and would stop the mule. Uh, general, uh, generally some conflict generally happened because time was very, very valuable for them. So what they would do. That's it? <laughs> Where's the long stretch? That's two horsepower, y'all. Two horsepower. So that's what pulled us all the way down the canal here. Land ahoy. Well, we went out and found us a covered bridge. Uh, it's supposed to be a tourist attraction, but there's no parking. So, <laughs> if you guys come out here to see the covered bridge out here in Warsaw, if you're out near Roscoe Village, just plan on there's no parking. You gotta improvise. So we're kind of parked on the road here. <laughs> this is a actual drivable, usable bridge. Keep that in mind. So we're still here in Roscoe Village. It's raining on us now. 
What did you guys think about Roscoe Village today? Oh, we loved it. Love, loved it. Love, loved it. We enjoyed the entire day. Yeah. There we go. We, yeah, so we, we all try to get everybody in the camera now. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's got you in there because I see that white dot in your face. Well, but, uh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I got the new hat today, you know, from over the canal. What'd you guys think of that canal boat ride? Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, anybody that comes to this area needs to go do that. Yeah. Exactly. But make sure you the go. The driver was a bit iffy. <laughs> what driver? What driver? Yeah, there was a driver. Wait a minute. What, what driver? The one upstairs is not just in the trees. <laughs> well, you that know, her first time. In her defense, <laughs> I think she was about twelve. <laughs> she was sixteen. Oh, she's sixteen. She had her temps, but not for the canal boat. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, she didn't have any kind of license for that. Now we did run a drift a couple times and hit some things out there. Hit and some trees and took some a few trees. Heads off. Luckily, I saw the tree coming and dive back down into the lower part of the cabin. <laughs> But, it wouldn't have hurt him anyways. You know, it's you gotta have a little bit of adventure with it. So if we went all day and nothing happened that somebody didn't get poked in the eye, poked in the ass or something like that, then we didn't have a good day. That's right. So but other than that. And we was, finished up with ice cream. Yeah. We didn't show you guys the ice cream because we didn't want to make you guys like one ice cream. Yeah, so. we didn't want y'all to be jealous over that. The ice cream is good. Wait a minute. I'm sure. I'm sure. Save some for later? I'm sure. Yeah, me and did. sure me and Mr. <laughs> Bill here have got a lot of ice cream in our beards and stuff. Uh, but definitely, it was great hanging out with these guys again. It's been a long time since we've seen them. Great guys, great RV channel. You can find them at Big Daddy of Bubbles, also known as RV Life in the USA. If you haven't checked out their channel? Please go do it. Also, watch out for this woman's menu Monday. Do not go to the grocery store on an empty stomach and don't watch that show on an empty stomach because you're going to clean your cupboards out I'm trying to find something to make some of the stuff this woman's making yeah, so look next at me i'm the taste tester <laughs> <laughs> and see that's what happened to me when she had her cupcake business i become the taster you know so or no i no i'm lying I, i'm fat i like to eat so that's just yeah, the way it is too. guys thanks for watching we'll see you guys down the road bye everybody see ya. <laughs>